personally with Secretary Clinton or President Obama, what would you say to them? How would you appeal? That they should stop supporting the Muslim Brotherhood. The founders of Hamas and Al-Qaeda are not moderate, and they should not be uh, engaged in talks with them, any forms of talks. And I think that they should be on the list of the terrorist organization because they are an international organization that uses violent means to get to reach its aims. And um, uh, I think it, it should be incriminated as an entity instead of opening talks with them and ignoring seculars and moderate forces in Egypt. That was Cynthia Farahat. She, is, um, she was testifying at the Human Rights Commission in the House of Representatives That's back in December. She is an Egyptian political activist and co-founder of the Liberal Egyptian Party. She has witnessed the persecution now of Christians in Egypt, and she is with us here to discuss the spread of uh, Sharia law, the attacks on Christianity, uh, and uh, also the Muslim Brotherhood, Cynthia uh, Farahat. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for you, having me. Um, were you over in Egypt during the whole uh, no, was spring? I, I, I was part of the whole thing. I was uh, been involved in Egyptian politics for the past ten years, and uh, I was I witnessed the whole thing. How frustrated were you, were you with the um, American media, if at all, watching what was coming out and and seeing that everybody was saying what a glorious revolution this is and how great this is going to be in the Muslim Brotherhood? What? Don't worry about those guys. Actually, I, I try to avoid watching American media as much as Me possible yeah. because, um, um, you know, I, it's, it's more frustrating uh, to watch our allies um, misunderstanding the whole thing than our enemies. It's easier for me to watch uh, Al Jazeera or any Islamist uh, TV channel advocating uh, something like that, but it's harder when it comes okay. to America. What should we have done? Because I was... Uh, I was on TV at that time, and I said, I'm really, I'm, I'm, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. We helped Mubarak, who was a very bad man, mm -hmm. and there was really bad stuff going on, and we were involved. We, 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 helped, we helped do it all. It's what our country thought was the best thing at the time, yada, yada, we got into bed with the devil. So I don't, I'm not a fan of him, but I, I know what the radicals say, and I know who they're in bed with, and you don't want any of that either, because that means death all across the region. What should we have done? I think uh, that uh, things could have been very different. But uh, State Department supported to, uh, decided to support uh, the Muslim Brotherhood while uh, there were very strong secular and classic liberal forces in Egypt. You had a political party like uh, the Free Egyptians uh, Party. Why don't, with millions of, of Muslim uh, uh, seculars and, and moderate Muslims and Christians uh, in it, why, do you, why did the State Department chose to support and open talks with the Muslim Brotherhood? Well, why they, do you think? Uh, uh, why do I think? Because, uh, uh, when you, uh, come on, it's not a surprise. When you have an advisor uh, to President Obama that is called uh, Dalia Mujahid and is uh, somehow associated with the Brotherhood, uh, this shouldn't come as a surprise, and we predicted it in Egypt. When Dalia Mugahed became an advisor, we predicted that this was our demise. We knew that our end was, uh, it was over. It's funny because we kind of know our end is near as well if we don't clean it up here because it's spreading. Sharia law is spreading first all across yeah. the Middle East. Yeah. It's now uh, spreading up into uh, Europe. It's insidious. It's all here, but we're, we're not doing anything about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, nothing is going to happen also about it, because uh, right now it's more popular to be an Islamist uh, than to be uh, someone who defends uh, basic human rights and uh, the dignity of, uh, of all people. How do you, how does it play with the rest of the world uh, in Egypt? We've been, we're on the wrong side again. Yeah. We had a chance to be uh -huh. on the right side. Yeah. And here we are on the wrong side again, and the people are going to pay the price for it again. And not just the people. America as well is going to pay the price. Everyone's going to pay the price. If no one learned from 9-11 that their ideas will fly through your buildings. Th these are the ideas that are being bred in the Middle East, and they fly through. Uh, uh, 
airport security can only do so much. So it has to be fought and won where it where it starts. Okay. Um, the administration and the media here will let you believe that um, uh, you know the Muslim Brotherhood, there, that nothing bad is going on. And okay, there's some skirmishes here and there, but this is actually you saying Christians are being killed. Oh yeah, there is a plan to eradicate them and uh, annihilate Christians from the Middle East, and um, uh, they are not even trying to hide it. And um, no, give me an example. I'll give you an example. Recently, uh, eight. Christian families in, uh, in a village near Alexandria were kicked out of their homes and uh, their houses and property, everything they owned was auctioned uh, and uh, they were not even allowed to be there or... Uh, or what happened uh, to them? What happened to them? They had all, all of this because of rumors about an affair between a Christian guy and a Muslim woman. That's how it starts. And then the government starts... Uh, uh, to sort out this dispute, this alleged dispute, through uh, reconciliation meetings, instead of taking the aggressors that tr attempted to burn Christian homes to prison, they reward them by having reconciliation meetings. So uh, the reconciliation meetings in the presence of Salafists and Islamists in the Brotherhood, they decided that all Christians from the village should get out and uh, get punished what and lose everything they what have. What do you think is coming? What do I think is coming? It, there are a lot of factors that are going to decide what's going to happen. Uh, if America is going to continue being a weak horde, uh, sure. they're going to um, kill more Christians and life is going to be absolutely miserable for them. Um, what happens to Israel? Uh, what happens to Israel? Um, what happens, there, nothing is going to happen to Israel right now because uh, they have different priorities right now. Uh, What's the priority? The priority right now is to seize control inside uh, Egypt because they have, uh, there's a lot of dissent against uh, the military and Islamists. I got a lot of heat, um, I mean, national laughing stock for saying that these people are trying to redesign the caliphate. They want a, 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 a Muslim caliphate. You have no problem with that. Of course we, do. of course we want that. What else would it, it's all over the literature? I, I, I can't imagine that someone would even debate something like that. Yes. I, I can't either. But yeah, they of course they do, and there is a there there's a plan for it, and it's going very well, and it's working great. So what is the how how can we help you? Uh, by supporting and recognizing the moderates uh, in Egypt. There are millions of moderates in Egypt that want basic human rights and dignity. Who and are want they? Who are they? Give you me have, the... for example, the Free Egyptians Party. There are millions of members in this party, while you have only 600 million members in the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, and so what is the average American? Because the United States is going through an election right now. Mm -hmm. Whether Bar If Barack Obama wins... We're toast. Uh, uh, not just you. I, oh, no. I know. We all are. Yeah. We all are. I mean, I have, I have people who I know in New Zealand and Australia and all over the world, they're like, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Um, uh, so we're busy kind of trying to trying to stop the, the insanity here as well. Um, what can the average person do? What can the average American who's watching, what can they do to help you? Support a strong America, because when America is strong, we are alive and well. When America is not strong, we are crushed and chased out of our homes in Egypt. Um, Egyptian Christians in Egypt are, are always viewed as um, American Zionist agents. They are not uh, viewed as civilians. Uh, under Sharia law, uh, it's like a, there's a, a class system, right? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. There's so where are you? Because you're, you're a female. Yeah. You're, are you Christian? Yeah, yeah Christian. So uh -huh. you're a female Christian. I'm at the bottom of the whole. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm, I'm just. Uh, it can't get any worse because uh, it it goes as follows. You've got the Sunni Muslim male, and then the Sunni uh, uh, female, and then the Christian male comes third, and then the fourth, of course, the Christian woman does the worst. Uh, it's just, uh, but. This is this is something that is classified and sorry that's that's a classification that exists in Sharia law. So we didn't invent that stuff. They're not bad guys. They're just a 
find what's what's there. If you could get America to understand one concept, what would it be? One concept uh, about Sharia law? About about any, you, there's got to be times you go, oh, if people would just understand this one thing. That they should be that America needs to be strong for us to survive. Is it true that um, so I, I've heard um, congressmen? have gone all over the Middle East and they've said, okay, so what, what is happening? And they said, well, now that you've, now that you guys are neutral on Israel and now that you're, you know, kind of out of the Middle East um, and not going to meddle at all, uh, we're going to kind of go this way. Is it true? That do, do we appear in the Middle East, do we appear neutral at best or on, on the wrong side at worst? Uh, no, no, not neutral at all. Uh, America will never appear neutral even if it is neutral. So, uh, no, it doesn't appear neutral. Uh, classic liberals and seculars in Egypt are extremely frustrated with America uh, because they support uh, their enemies and the enemies of freedom in Egypt. Mm. So, now that's, the, now that's the equation. There are the Christians, the secular moderate Muslims, the liberals in Egypt, and there is Saudi Arabia, the Muslim Brotherhood, and America, and the regime. So. Oh. America is obviously on the wrong, the wrong side. side. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. God Lovely. bless you. Thank you. God bless Lovely you. Being here. Um, tomorrow, you don't want to miss a um, kind of a remarkable show. I'm going to be gone for the next couple of nights. Um, I'm on a uh, special project that I will tell you about on Monday. We have a big announcement on Monday and then another big announcement on Tuesday that uh, you don't want to miss. I will be um, on special assignment and then back here Monday, tomorrow night. Um, we have Josh Hamilton, who is uh, Texas Rangers baseball star, who's really had some real problems.